Hi everyone, it's Jenny with Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. We're on YouTube and Instagram at Joey143Jenny and we're on Facebook at Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. Okay, I'm back with the little um, shopping purse, uh, Christmas shopping purse, and I just wanted to show you where I'm at. So let's just recap real quick. We took, where's my little paper? We cut a, a little, um, kind of looks like a big pocket. Cut that. It is about seven and a half this way, six and a half this way. And then we took this little guy and rounded the corners. You could take like a mug or a glass or something if you don't have a little lid like that. Um, oh, let me scoot up. Okay. And then we just placed it and cut out um, four of those. So here's two of them. And then we cut out the other two. And then um, we're also, I cut two battings and I'll show you where we're at with that. And then four um, pieces that are approximately 21 inches long. This is just the measurements that I used. Um, so it's 21 inches long approximately. And then I did, um, so we did, let's see, did I do four? Uh, no, uh, no, I just did two. Four, if you want to have a purse with a little handle. Super cute, and that's normally how I've made them. I'm going to put four in parentheses. Short handle. Making myself a note. Okay. And then two, um, I did these. These will be the little ties Kind of keep it together this is a very elementary type of purse so it doesn't it's not gonna you know take a lot of um skill this is a little over 13 inches that is just however long you want to make it my material scrap was only that long so um i'm gonna put 13 inches just so i can remember what i i think it's gonna be a good a nice little size okay um that's that. Okay, so there's some measurements, and then and then for the um for the handle on this one, it's just slightly longer. It'll probably be long enough to just tuck over your arm, and I think it's measured twenty six inches, twenty four inches, little uh, twenty four and a quarter is what that is. So that's that's only going to be um slightly under twenty four inches. So um, handle equals 24 half inches. I'm just doing that so I can remember uh, the measurements if they worked out pretty good. Okay, so what I did was I took I took the um, and this is what we're gonna do today. I, I took the side and bottom and I folded it in half and made that mark and I I ironed that and similar to what we did here, we folded it in half and then we creased it. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to match those creases here, those middles together. If I can remember what find them here. There we go. And, um, you know, pin or clip or whatever, and then go around the curve here doing this, you know, just kind of keeping it all together. So we'll get all this sewn. This might be a little bit of a long video, but we'll get it sewn. So we're going to do that. Uh, let me get this clipped all the way, and then I'll show you some other things that I've done, just so you kind of have an idea. Now this bottom I made intentionally a little long, because as I go around that curve, I just wanted to have enough to ease in. And uh, hopefully... Hopefully it'll lay nice. Okay. Then we're going to do the other side. Same thing. Now, pins would probably be very helpful around this curve because you could get a few in there and make it nice and smooth. Um, but my little pin cushion is in the living room because I'm still working on and I hope to be finished tomorrow or Monday or let's see this is the weekend so tomorrow or Monday I'm not sure when this will air but um and that's just the slow stitching portion of it it's not the actual cover 
um, making that cover to put the slow stitch on. <laughs> it's a process. <laughs> but I've put it in there so that it gets a little bit more time of my, of my time. And it really has. Um, it's been a lot of fun. So, um, so anyways, my little pin cushion's in there with that. Okay, so you see what I've done here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew around that. Okay, so I'm going to sew that. Then what I did was I made these. Now these are going to go inside the purse to tie it so that it it's kind of ties up and it's not just hanging open. So I made another one and I need to, I need to sew that and I'm just sewing it about an eighth of an inch. And I'm not worried about the ends here because that's going to be sewn in. So, um, and the way that I did this was I just folded the fabric. I, this was an inch and a half wide do it however you want. I just folded it in half and you could also use like a seam binding that's already made. Um, so I fold it in half and then I, and I ironed it and then I folded it this way and ironed it. And I, and there are some tools that help you to do this while you're ironing. I do it the old fashioned way where you burn your fingers the whole way. <laughs> so there's that okay so we're going to sew along that as well so we'll get this sewn and we'll get this sewn and then this um was just double um of the uh this is the 24 this is going to be the handle short handle but it's kind of you know cute and um so what i did is i just doubled it and and sewed it okay and turned it inside out and I did that with a large safety pin I put a safety pin on it and then tucked it through and then just worked its its way through that's old-fashioned way all right so let's get started and let's get this thing done here's my handy dandy tape measure all right now another thing that I wanted to tell you and I should have done this on the front and I didn't oh here's the front I forgot to show you this so this is the one that we quilted yesterday front and back and then I found this scrap in my Christmas this came in one of those or you know you pay a dollar or whatever you get a little baggie of scraps and this came in that baggie of scraps um, and it was perfect and so I just stitched with the batting along the lines just to kind of you know give it a little bit of texture as well um, okay, so that's the, what we're calling the outside, and um, I think it's going to be really cute. Now, what would have been great is before I had stitched it together, so while it was like this, and maybe we'll go ahead and do that on this one, is to put some an embellishment. So I'm going to pause. I'm going to grab some embellishments, and let's see what happens. One moment. Okay, I'll grab my little bucket of holiday and glitter um okay let's see here um i don't know what i'm even thinking that's pretty that is off of a curtain looks like hmm It's cute, but I'm kind of thinking of something in the middle, but that's a, a great piece. I need to remember that. Okay. Another little ruffle. Hmm. I don't have a lot of green in here. There's a green, but it's not really what I'd like. Let's see what's in this bag. There's a green. I don't mind that. And then this is where you would put another color. So you could do, what would happen if we did like this? 
This is going to be a long video. <laughs> I can already feel it. Let's do it like this. Where's the middle? It's it's stiff. So it's a little wonky to work with. Plus the little zigzags. I don't think it's bad. I don't know how it's going to launder up, but with, you know, with this on it, it feels like you could launder it. You know, some of the ribbons and stuff are just like for crafts, you know, like um, wreaths and things like that. it's probably wasting some but I don't even know if I'm going to like it we'll see it's hard to, to dig it or drag it through so I thought if I started in the middle I would only have to drag half of it Oh my goodness, it's going to take as long as making the purse. Brother, come on. Oh boy. One more. Well, I, I don't think it's bad. I think I'm going to give it a try. I cut it pretty wide on the outsides. And uh, I feel like I do need a pin to put it down, but um, they're not in here. So, well, I do have this one over here. Now, let's just make sure that we are where we need to be one and a half inches that sounds good one and a half inches it looks crooked but for some reason it looks crooked Nope, that's right. Okay. Wasn't quite one and a half inches. Okay. And then I got this pin off of one of the laces. <laughs> I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it to put it right in the center here. Sort of in the center. Okay. All right. Let me make some room. Bring my sewing machine over here. I've got quite the little mess going on. I've been sitting here sewing and thinking how how can I rearrange my room to make more of a sewing area. Um I have a sewing table uh, just it's it's very very simple sewing table that my dad made my mom years and years and years ago. And it's in our storage. And basically, it's a tri corner. It's a corner table made out of wrought iron. Uh, kind of like, I think my dad took like wrought iron from an old porch. You know, how the you had the wrought iron going up. And then sometimes you'd have flowers or morning glories or something going up the vines going up it. Um, he took those and made... Um, 
the base and then he made a top for it and the top is very similar to this top it's old you know that kind of that old-fashioned uh just get it on there so that you can um do your work and not worry about scratching it and stuff and that's basically what it is um and only it has little speckles in it kind of like the old linoleum had speckles in it uh, my sewing machine has been acting up a little bit it's not used to you know i've been i use it for everything uh so we've been doing a lot of paper <laughs> poor thing and now it's doing all this fabric and lace and such and um I think it's wondering what is going on here. So I'm still contemplating, not contemplating, I still am going to buy a nice sewing machine. I'll still keep this one. But I tell you, it sure makes a difference when you're trying to bust out some um, actual cloth things, <laughs> not just paper. Okay, now that red is just sitting in there. So I'm going to go down the sides here, kind of secure it that way a little bit. And of course the seam, once it gets in the purse, will help secure it. But I'll flatten it out real good. Let's get one side down and then I'm just going to go maybe an eighth of an inch since our seam allowance is a quarter of an inch. Kind of back and forth over that red there. I was wondering earlier why is why are my seams so like they they don't seem to be um, the right width, and then I noticed that my uh, needle has shifted, and I don't know on this machine. I didn't even know you could shift the needle. So I need to kind of see what, how do I get it back in the middle? Because it's way off to the right, right now. Okay. I've had machines where you could shift the, had a little thing and you could shift, uh, you know, did you want the needle on the right, the left, or in the middle? But this one doesn't have that, so I don't know. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think that'll add a little bit of glam. <laughs> okay. I'll keep those for journals. Let's put that away for now. All right. So now let's, that'll be a good piece for a journal, I think. Will it? Maybe. Let's go ahead and do this. And um, we're just going to be sewing. So if you don't like that noise, which I understand because this little sewing machine is, you know, somewhat noisy, feel free to mute or um, fast forward. But we're just going to go around here and then I'm going to chuck the um, these little guys in here <laughs> as we go. And hopefully they'll... They'll stay. They were popcorning out a little bit ago. This is also, uh, you know, since it's a project that doesn't take a, a whole lot of time, there's a couple of things about it. One, you could do it, you could hand stitch it. It's not that difficult to, you know, just take some small um, running stitches and you could hand stitch it. Keep it in the car while you're in the pickup line with the kids or what have you, you know. Um, you could also mass produce. So you could just get a bunch of, let's say, Christmas fabrics and um, just cut out a bunch of bodies, a bunch of um, sides and a bunch of uh, ties and straps and then just keep mixing and matching.
when I was at Kathy's, she has such a wonderful sewing machine that even on the smallest of projects, it makes it delightful to sew because uh, it's just, it's, it has a really soft hum to it. Um, the needle goes, when you stop, it goes in the down position. You know, there's just all those little things that one less step. Okay, let's see. I have to remember on the next one to leave, um, let's see, yeah, to leave a little bit open. So I'm going to give myself a little reminder here because we want to be able to turn it inside out. Okay. Wait a second. I got to think here for a minute. Yeah, that's right. Okay. When the whole pattern and the whole thing is in your head, um, gonna have to deconstruct as you construct so you can see what is gonna happen. And sometimes that comes off like nothing, and sometimes with a hitch, but that's just the way I roll with the stuff I make up, you know? <laughs> that's why I write things down because. Let's say um, I'm telling you all that and then it doesn't work. I can say, okay, so that is not, you know, so it's, it's not just what's right, but it's also process of eliminating what doesn't work. And sometimes it just works. hope this is sewing good I had to I had a little trouble with it earlier it was um, not keeping the tension so I had to adjust that okay where's my scissors Now, all I'm going to check before I get the other side on is if I've caught anything, you know, not great. If I've, you know, on the, especially around the edges, but it looks pretty good. It's so fun to put all these Christmas colors together. Gosh, it's so fun. Okay. Okay, so now we're just going to repeat the same thing on this side. So here's my middle. And... Where did I, where did I, there it is, right there, I'll recrease it. So the reason I'm going to leave um, this middle part open is two reasons. One, one reason I'm leaving it open, the main reason is to turn it inside out once the purse is made. But the reason I'm doing it right here, is that the center again? I keep losing it. There it is. Is because um, it's the flattest, it's the straightest. And so once we turn it, it's going to be easier to um, sew that than it is to go around a curve. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to go like this. I'm going to put a double blue there and I'll flip one the other way. I usually put two, a double like red pin or something like that. But since I'm not using the pins today, I'll do that. This is just a little fiddly, but it's not hard. You might hear my iron on the other side percolating. I've got it on. It's a little iron here in a second. Iron this down. So yeah, you can see I've got a little bit extra hangover. We'll cut that off in a minute.
the the best thing about having your centers marked is because you want these curves to match up on both sides otherwise your purse is going to be a little bit cattywampus you know I'm going to tell you, um, this goes way faster with pins, <laughs> way faster. So we'll have to keep that in mind. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's get this done. A little closer here so I can see what I'm doing. I'll tell you what, this sewing machine has been an absolute wonderful investment. I think I think it was like $99 and then it was on sale around Christmas or something for $79 one year. I have had this thing for so long and she just keeps going. I'm just tickled with it. Once in a while, I'll get a, a brush out, a soft brush, and I'll go inside, you know, I'll take the bobbin out, and I'll go in there and get all the paper and fabric dust out of there. And she gives a big sigh of relief. I want to come completely around. I'm just making sure all that is nice and flat under there. Come completely around that corner. And then I'm going to back. Okay. Where's my scissors? Got them. I'm out. I'm going to come out a long ways just because I'm I'm like that. <laughs> All right, and now I am going to start right in here. everything back nice and flat underneath make sure I back stitch there because my big old hands getting ready to get in there and flip this flip the whole thing inside out in a little bit these off here for now okay so there's a couple of things I want to do before I um, clip corn or clip the clip the corners the circles the roundness there I'm going to turn it inside out and just make sure that nothing has been caught you know that isn't supposed to be caught <laughs> Okay, looks good. Good, okay, so now what I wanna do is I'm gonna just trim it up 
and I'm going to iron it and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. I'm going to just trim this off. Matching front and the back, pulling this nice and straight. I'm going to use my nice fabric scissors that Kathy gave me. Cut off. Same on this side. Okay, those are nice little scraps. It's hard to, you know, come by some fun Christmas. So when you do, I, I think it's fun to keep all the scraps. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim or I'm just going to clip the edges. Now, I'm going to use these because these are sharp. Um, be super, super careful because we only have a quarter of an inch seam allowance. I don't know if you can even see it. So I'm barely clipping not going completely up to the stitches. I'm just giving some easement. And this down here where I have that opening, I'm not going very far because uh, that will be very hard to sew back later once we uh, assemble the purse. Okay, so I did this exactly the way I did the other one. So that's all you're going to do is you're going to make like two of these. So I did it exactly the same as the other one. Ooh, that was close. I think I almost got that in there. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to just iron it because, um, it's easier to iron, you know, to get as much of it ironed now before you get the whole thing assembled. So what I like to do is turn it like this and kind of make it like a little bed. Let me see how I've got that cupped up. Now I'm going to just over here on the side, I'm going to take the iron and I'm just going to go along these seams here all the way around. Okay, I'm going to go around that and then I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to flip this and I'm going to do the exact same thing. Okay. All right. So I'm going to just do that off to the side here real quick. I would do it in front of you, but um, I'd have to move everything off the desk to get this iron situation over there. Coming along, smoothing it out. Okay. All right. I think I've got it. I tried to avoid making a seam there, but it looks like I didn't avoid it. So I'm going to try to get that out real quick. I don't want that. It's going to be very hard to get out once that purse is put together. Okay, then this little thing here, this is, so this is where we're going to turn it. And when it's all said and done, I'm going to just stitch that, probably just use my sewing machine. This is the liner, even if it's on the outside, uh, if you decide to reverse it, I think it'll be okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do that and get my bone folder and give it a nice crease so that it's going to be ready once everything's assembled. Okay, now, fun part. Okay, turn this inside out. All right, and then I'm going to put this inside here. Okay. I gotta think here for a second. Okay, first I'm gonna, I'm sorry. I turn that inside out. Now let's put this inside. This is our handle. Let's put that in there. 
Okay, kind of match it up. Where's my thing? I'm just going to put this here for a second. Make sure that there's no twists unless you want to twist. I don't want to twist, so I'm just going to lay it in there. And I'm going to center it here. Okay. Like that. All right. Now this one is right side, so we're going to put right sides together. Okay. And then we're going to match up the seams. So let's do that. Oh, wait. One more thing. Oops. Oh, we didn't sew this. Let's sew this real quick. Got to get that in there. Sewing this just right along the edge. I think this little tie really adds and you know when you see these scrap bags at the thrift store and you think eh, there's not really that much in there but there wasn't very much of this um, in the scrap bag but it's gonna make all the difference in this little purse I think it's really tying it all together so I don't know that's just me I love them I love little scraps. Okay. All right, now, where's that other one? Okay. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this down. Okay, I got to think here. This one's going to go in the center on this, on this here. Okay. Where's my center? I'm going to pinch it together here again. There's my center. Still got the salvage on this, so I'm just going to use it for the seam here. All right, now you get down in there. Make sure it's way down in there so you don't sew it. <laughs> Let's do this one. Another seam allowance here, or salvage, so. Okay. All right. Okay. Now we got all our goodies in there. Now let's put um, seam to seam. I think I'm going this way. Okay. Seam to seam. Seam to seam. Try to get it to where it's as flat as it can be. Seam to seam. What is going on here? Okay. Okay, now I have all four of those seams. So now what I can do is really smooth it out. Um, and that will help me as I go around. Okay, so now I've got it nice and smooth. So here where I have the tie, I can now pull that out and get both of them, both of the front and the back together that and where I have this one I caught don't want to do that okay and now where I have the handle I can pull that out and use that alrighty for some reason this one is 
giving me some fits. Okay, now the handle on this side. Okay. All right, hopefully that's going to line up good. <laughs> I have an optical illusion with the stripes in there. Okay, it feels good. Okay, so let's sew. Let's go around it. Let's do this. this over here so I don't have to keep reaching over there. Just rolling, sewing and rolling. Now you probably know this if you use these little clips, but if you don't know, if you put the flat, which is the colored part, on the bottom, you can just slide them right off when you get to them. I hope my machine's behaving under there. seam in there. Okay. I'm holding my breath. Holding my breath in hopes that it's all working out. Okay, so I'm pull that through and then I'm going to pull everything through that hole so it has to be very gentle. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't sew this handle in anywhere other than where it was supposed to be. Gently. That hole's not very big. Um, you could do it on the side, I guess. I've always done it at the bottom. Maybe it's because I quilted it that it's a little bit more difficult, but it'll come. Gently. Gentle. This is where I'm going to have to iron it again. Obviously, it's a mess now. One strap, two straps, I'm just pushing those corners through there. Come on. Get rid of some of that. Yeah, it's that. It's because I've all right, let me give it a shake. Shake out. Okay, so then what happens is it looks like this. Okay. And this is a good time if you want to iron it, which I do. So I'm going to just give it a quick press again. It doesn't need much because we ironed it before, but since I uh, pushed it through that tiny little hole. Oh, another thing is you could do, you could turn it at the top. And I've done that before, but turning it at the top 
uh, leaves a different look around the base, around the top of it, and I just never have cared for that. So, got a little string here. Now, let's go ahead, and so then what you do is then you just poke your liner down inside. Okay. Oh, well, let's sew it first. <laughs> that would be good. Otherwise, you're going to have a hole. Let's do that. I'm just going to take that little... I'm just going to top stitch it right here. You could do a blind stitch by hand, but this is what I'm doing today. Where's my tray? Okay. Oh boy. Okay, now we're gonna put it down in here. Push out the little corners. Okay. And then what I like to do is to top stitch it. So for me to top stitch I try to pin it all down. So we'll just use the clips again. We're almost done. No telling what's under this desk. I need my granddaughter to come back over and go deep sea diving under there again. Okay, we got it. All right, so now let's let's do it. So I think what I'm going to do, and some sewing machines allow you to do this, is you pop out this, and then it's a nice little thing you can, you know, just wrap around here. Okay, so let's go right here. All right. I just want to make sure everything is nice and smooth. Nice and smooth all the way around. Any of this that we're sewing, you could do it in any color you want. If you want to do this top stitching in red or green or something like, you know, gold, whatever. You could do whatever you want. This is a little fiddly just because you want it to look nice. Not that you don't want all of it to look nice, but you've got everything <laughs> in your way. And you're trying to keep everything underneath very, very straight and flat. and it just keeps wanting to buckle up so I'm holding on to it for dear life here my finger underneath is checking to make sure that it's nothing is caught you know it's smooth the 
it's not the end of the world if it's not. You can always seam rip and do it again. But isn't it nice to do it the first time and have it come out kind of nice, you know? Sometimes you get a little bit that's not exactly on the seam and it pokes out and I think that's okay. It kind of gives you a little shadow of what's inside. very pretty but hopefully if it's under your arm nobody can see it <laughs> uh, I double doubled it come on oh my goodness why is that not cutting there we go okay all right let's move some stuff out of the way <clears throat> okay. All right. I think it's a wrap. So here's our little purse. For us to go shopping, we can put our wallet in there and our cell phone and um, wallet, cell phone, keys. Put our keys in there. You really don't need much more when you go shopping, do you? Maybe a list. Let's... Um, Let's tie these. Well, let's just do a single. If I can get it back down here. <laughs> I like it to be kind of close to the end. You could also put a dangle on it. You could finish the end if you want. You can fray the end if you want. I usually finish them. I don't know why I didn't this time, but I didn't. If my granddaughter comes over, I'll have her model it. And I'll put a picture on Instagram or Facebook and or Facebook. So it is about from very, very beginning to very, very end, maybe an hour and a half project. But if you're mass making, you'll, it'll be a lot quicker. You know what I mean? Per, per little purse. Okay. Let's look, let's pretend that we're like, okay, that was fun. But now let's see what, how my purse is going to be this I love it. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you make one. Oh my gosh, if you do, would you put it on on our Facebook so I can see and we can share it with all our friends at the Little Yellow House. I would love it if you did that. Okay, I'm going to make some more. I'll keep you updated at, um, as I go on them, okay? 
thank you so much for hanging with me. I know these were long videos, and um, I appreciate you um, sticking around while I do it. All right. And plus, we have some scraps to put in our for our journals, you know, lots of pretty little scraps. Okay, everybody, thank you. We'll see you in the next video. And don't forget, we pray blessings over you, and we want you to know you're so loved. Bye.